What's up guys, this is Aquamaniacs. In today's video, we are gonna be breeding some angel fishes. Basically, you don't have to do anything. Also, I want to let you guys know one thing that probably you guys have seen a ton of videos on YouTube on how to breed angel fish, master aquatics, etc, etc. But if you go in, th in those videos and you watch those videos, even you guys will notice that it's very, very complicating and as you guys know my videos are never complicating they are very easy very simple straight solutions no wasting time so without wasting any time guys let's get started first of all for breeding angel fishes you need a breeding pair and if you don't have a breeding pair you can uh, always you know uh, get a couple of angel fishes and put them together like 10 or 8 as you can see here i have put at least 12 pieces of marble platinum angels in this tank for them to become and form pairs uh, basically they were at this size when I added them together and I've separated the best according to me which I think I'm going to breed so basically this is what you have to do if you need if you want a breeding pair it's all about patience in breeding angel fish there's no shortcut to it and if you need a shortcut i have already told mentioned that earlier in the video find a breeder find a local pet store uh, that sells a breeding pair if you go on olx these days you will find many people selling angel fish breeding pair so they cost around not much 1500 to 2000 depending on the size and uh, the quality and the breed of the fish you can even get it for 800 rupees so i have uh, got asked a couple of times on uh, to make a video on how to breed angel fish because people have seen many videos but still they cannot understand this uh, why is it so complicated for them basically it's not complicated it's a piece of cake i won't say it's a piece of cake it's a piece of pastry i, I can say it's so easy because you don't have to do anything uh, there is only one thing which you have to do that if your pair is uh, your parents are not good parents you have to se separate the eggs and artificially hatch them which I will be showing you in uh, the next video in part 2 of breeding angel fishes I'm not going to make many parts I'm going to keep it small and simple as possible as I mentioned and basically see you, uh, you will start seeing them pairing off now I don't think I have any pairs right now because they still not too big you can see i'm giving you uh my uh, i'm putting my finger in front of the glass for, for you to uh, compare the sizes so i think this guy is pretty big but he's gonna form a pair with one of the females and they are gonna move out to one part of the aquarium either this side this side or at the back and uh, how will you notice that there is a pair being formed because you uh, you start noticing that uh, suppose this guy and that uh, female I'm just giving you an example will always stick around together maybe not too much at the beginning because they're just uh, it's a start of a pair it's a forming a uh, formation of a pair so he will uh, s uh, chase the rest of these guys out if your male is dominant enough the first pair especially and he will allow one fish to be around him for you know uh, a couple of minutes and then chase that out because the, the pair has uh, just began to form so that's gonna happen and then they're gonna stick together at one portion in the tank and that's how you know you have a pair when they're chasing the rest of the fishes out towards this portion and these two are over here so let them be for about a month and see if they're staying together are they really a pair or not and then you can separate them in the breeding tank once you have a pair it's better and i will definitely suggest anybody to separate the pair and give them their own space their own tank so that's how you get a breeding pair that was number one the first thing you gotta do for a breeding pair and it's all about patient guys trust me it's about patience breeding angel fish now let me show you uh, my pair that I have earlier you have seen in this video yeah so here they are basically once they are a pair you will start uh, uh, you know seeing them uh, eating together feeding together etc etc and you have to give them a tank like this uh, uh, it's a 17 inch tank and uh, it's a cube one by one by 17 inch the height is 17 inches and 
it's one by one, one feet by one feet cube. Now angelfish fishes prefer a uh, high tank. It's really good for them, and they love high tanks than a uh, low tank, low height tank. So basically, what are the symptoms? What are the signs before breeding? Before they're gonna spawn or lay eggs? So it's very simple. You're gonna look. You're gonna observe. Uh, people definitely do that in the beginning. I was the same. And you're gonna uh, wait for hours and hours, and you're gonna get anxious that when are they gonna breed? Are they a pair or they are not a pair? I will just advise you to leave all these things aside and don't think too much. If they are a pair, they have uh, stayed separate in a tank, community tank, for at least about one month. Then I'm damn sure they are a pair. Maybe in the first time the eggs will not get fertilized, the second time, third time, but they will get it right some or some time. It's very rare, as said in many YouTube videos, that a male can be sterile. But according to me, that is very, very rare in angelfish. So you're definitely gonna have uh, babies, but it's gonna take time for the male and female to know how to fertilize. The, I mean, for the male to know how to fertilize the eggs, and the female to lay it and fan it in the right place and right time. So basically, you need a piece of tile. You can see. Make sure it's not a very dark color and not a very light color because if it's a light color, they're not going to be able to notice it uh, much according to me. And if it's a green color, it's much better because it, uh, you know, it gives a natural look. It's like, a, or it's a brown color, it gives a natural look as a piece of wood or a log. Uh, so they're going to start cleaning that surface. They're going to start cleaning that surface and also see the size of this is just two inches uh, lower than the water surface make sure you have such a big piece of slate because they're not going to lay on this portion but they're going to lay at this portion you know this particular portion they're not going to lay at this portion over here right now they always lay at this portion so make sure it's a uh, nice uh, 15 inch as you can see this is 17 so that can be a 15 inch uh, clay slate and you have to feed them four to five times a day if you're feeding pellet food and if you're feeding live food or you can say brine, uh, not brine shrimp. Uh, if you want to feed chicken heart, you can feed chicken heart, but it's a bit risky in angel fishes. Feed them for, uh, you know, you can feed them twice a week chicken heart and normal pellets. That will also help the female to form a decent amount of eggs, probably a good amount of eggs. And if you just feed them pellets, and if you're just going to feed them once or twice a day, the female is not going to have a much, uh, you know, a big uh, clutch of eggs. You can see her stomach, her belly is bloated up a bit. And her breeding tube is also down, but not much. Also, guys, I want to tell you one thing, let you know one thing. Many videos are confusing this uh, in the breeding videos like Master Aquatics and other angelfish breeding videos. Uh, I want to tell you guys one thing that the breeding tube of a female is definitely 100 times thicker than a male's. It's more rounded and it's like a, uh, you can say a, a vein, you know, like a hole between the tube. And a male, I cannot see his tube right now. Uh, his tube does come out and go back in times to times, periodically in the daytime. And his tube it's very pointed you can see a little bit sticking out it will come out right down but the females is gonna come out more the females takes at least three to four days to completely come out this you're not gonna uh, this is not mentioned in many breeding videos which i'm mentioning the females tube has slightly begun to come out you can see it will come out more you know like uh, one millimeter more or two millimeters and it's gonna be more longer than the males don't worry about the male's breeding tube. It's going to go in and come out time to time. But as he gets ready and the female is ready, his tube is going to come out right away. It does not take time for the male to put his tube in and out. Okay. So the female cannot put her tube in and out often. But once her tube starts protruding, uh, you're going to see it come out more and more and more and more until it finally comes out and looks bigger than the male's. And then she's, uh, before that, in uh, three, four days before the tube starts coming out, you'll see them cleaning this plate, cleaning various areas of the tank, uh, you know, very aggressively. 
and the female is going to show some places the male is going to show some face places to the female we can breed here no we can breed here or lay eggs here but at the end of the day the female is the boss and she is going to choose the final spot according to me because where she lays the males will fertilize the male will fertilize over there and if you do this regularly and if you remove the eggs after the lay they're going to spawn about 10 to 7 every 10 to 7 days if fed nicely and water conditions are maintained and one more thing keep in mind uh, many people mention a thermostat well according to me as i said i keep it simple and the lowest cost breeding you know i'm a person that does not want you to spend your money too much so you don't need to put a thermostat inside they will breed without that just make sure you're not in a very cold region if your water temperature drops below 24 20 degrees it should be 24 to 26 degrees for them to breed so if it's cooler than that then i will suggest you to put a thermostat at 26 to 24 degrees is just fine you don't have to put it higher than that and they will breed very well so they will start cleaning the surface area for about two to three days not more than that it might take four days if it's too dirty so and if it's too dirty i would suggest you to clean the surface by your hand and then let them clean it afterwards and try to keep the light low i've just increased the light because it's uh, i'm just recording the video what i do is i put a piece of paper uh, under the light so the light gets you know dimmer and basically that's it to breed uh, that's basically it in breeding angel fishes there's not much to it it's not a complicating process as people describe it you have to do this you have to do that it's all about getting a pair and letting the pair do its stuff do not disturb the pair too often just let them clean the slates once the cl uh, slate is uh, clean the piece of tile is clean they will start the female will start going up to down up to down in first few times there are no eggs uh, visible on the slate they're not going to have eggs immediately it's going to take about 10 to 11 times when she goes up and down and then you start seeing four to five eggs and the male will fertilize following her sometimes when the males are new they are not experienced so they will not fertilize the eggs and obviously the first times you're going to have consequences breeding any fishes not just angel fish they are going to eat the eggs up and I would suggest you not to separate the eggs the first and second time because let them do it themselves if they will be good parents you will not have to do anything in future and if they are not good parents you'll have to do a lot of things so that's it for now guys on breeding angel fish part one i'm going to teach you in the next video how to art artificially hatch the angel fish eggs so stay tuned for that video and whoever requested this video i'm glad you're happy with this video sorry for the delay because i was real busy this is Aquamaniac signing out. Like, share and subscribe the video if this was helpful to you.